Hey guys, this is Chris from Fast Chica and this video is to help you who wants to make your own whipped butters at home. So everything that I have here, most people have at home, okay? You're not gonna get sophisticated at all. So you need like a, an electrical, like a mixer, a couple of like containers, and you need like a total like clean and dry glass jar, a pot, and that's how you melt like the butters. I'm using Kupuasu too. I'm melting right now 8 ounces, not 16, 8 ounces of Kupuasu 2. I'm going to do 4 ounces mixed with Ojon for hair. And 4 ounces I'm going to whip it by itself. For you to understand the difference of like a, a regular butter, like now like no whipped butter and a whipped butter. When you whip a butter, you're not like, uh, you're not changing the properties of the butter. You're just adding air to the mix. So it gets fluffier. It gets easier to apply. But the secret of butters, guys, the secret of oils and butters, it's like use just a little tiny bit and then increase from there. Don't to like, you know, use a bunch and then go like, oh, I cannot deal with uh, oils because I feel too oily all the time. So, okay. I melt my butters over like low to medium like heat and as soon as it melted I get out of the heat okay uh, you may want to use like something so it doesn't you have to be very careful because a lot of jars they may break depending on like the heat so be careful use a good like you now like a decent jar and just use once because it's like you know getting hot and cold how the cold is gonna like break the jar so just be careful. Don't let like the oil like the overcook and just melt the butter. If you're gonna mix it with oils, mix afterwards when you're red like whipping, okay? So look, it's totally melted. Since I'm gonna do four and four, I have like two containers, like you know, just use the containers you have at home. If you're like using just a little tiny bit of butter, use the smaller containers because it makes it easier to uh, whip. So I'm gonna share, I have a little scale, you know, just because I need it now to do like four and four ounces. Um, so I'm going to like put four ounces here, four ounces here, and I'm going to put it in the fridge a little bit. And then when I get it out of the fridge, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like if it's ready to start like whipping. Why I'm working with Kupuasu? I'm working with Kupuasu because it's winter. Uh, in Florida, I had two days of winter and I'm totally dry and Kupuasu is the best butter for that. Murumuru and Tucuman, they protect, they, they form a layer on your skin, but in order like to attract water to your skin, to get like, you know, to keep your skin hydrated. Remember like, you know, oils don't hydrate your skin, but like, you know, it pulls the water in to keep your skin hydrated. That's why I'm going to do Kupuasu. Uh, so let's remember the oils, the butter is going to be like super hot. Like be very careful dealing with it and just pour in like a little, in a little, uh, container. Okay. And then put in the fridge. You always mark it, like check every five minutes, every three minutes, depending on the amount of butters that you're going to melt and whip. So while the, the butter is in the fridge, it's like now, like it's going to start like getting, uh, hard on at the edges like this so just mix it like get out of the fridge mix a little bit like get the edges like down a few times okay this one I'm gonna put like back in the fridge for a few more minutes so when the butter is like this almost firm it's ready to start like a uh, whipping okay I use oh, I didn't even like it I use like a, the whisker like attachment and I'm just going to whip and I'm going to like, I usually put back in the fridge to like, you know, like to get a little bit more firm, a little bit firmer, not more firm. Oh my God. Uh, so in a few minutes, I will take another picture and do the video again. So this is uh, being whipped for about like less than a minute. Okay. It starts getting like lighter and fluffier because like I said, you're not changing the butter, you're just adding air to this butter. Um, when it gets like this, I usually put it in the fridge just for a little bit longer and then I will uh, whip some more, okay? This is the second butter, the other four ounce of the Kupuasu 2. And this one I'm gonna mix with like some oil, I'm gonna mix with Ojon oil. Uh, it's one part of like oil for for three parts of butter, but I'm not gonna like just do it right now I'm gonna put it back in the fridge and when it's a little bit firmer 
and I will start whipping again. That's when I'm gonna mix uh, the, the, the oil. So after the first whipping, I put in the fridge and, uh, and I'm gonna whip some more. So this time I left for too long in the fridge. So it was kind of like hard again, but I prefer like whip like a harder butter. Uh, since this one got too hard, I'm gonna mix the ojan in it. So you mix the oils, you don't heat the oils with your butter. So you mix the oils after you start like whipping already. So this one is gonna be the cupoisseau ojan, the other one is gonna be just cupoisseau. So here are the two whipped butters that I just made. I went through all the steps with you guys, like how many times, like how I melted it, how I put it in the, in the fridge, how I took out, like in time, and I started like a whipping, and then I put it again, you have to be, that second time has to be just a couple minutes, okay, and how I mix the oil, look how beautiful, like this orange looks amazing, uh, how the oil, but there's, there are a couple things that I have to say about like whipped butters, okay, first, look at volume okay it looks like you have more butter you don't have more butter by weight it's just like by weight it's just like more volume because you're adding our air into the butter R. you're are uh, you're <laughs> you're adding air in the butter uh, into the butter so you have more volume but the weight it's still four ounces and this is like uh, five and a half because of the oil so why whip a butter to make it easier to apply so but if you're not gonna make a mix if you're just gonna use one butter i would not like you know put myself through it i would just like use the get like a little piece of the butter melt in your hands and use it like it is like again the secret to using butters and not feeling like totally like heavy and oily is like starting with very little um uh, this is very fluffy right now oops well, I tried to show that was very fluffy, but it's not helping me here. This is, looks very fluffy right now, but it's going to get hard, it, like a little bit harder anyways. So like I, like I said, if you're not going to mix an oil in it, I would not bother like whipping a butter. Just use it uh, as this. And this one is gorgeous. This one, since you put like, you know, these three parts of uh, butter in one part oil, then it gets like fluffy. It gets like this one I'm going to use for hair. And... So that's how you whip like butters at home. And it's super simple. We don't need like a lot, like I said, just like a jar in a pot. And like, you know, like just like, it's super simple. It's easy and it's fun. But like, remember, like put me, melt the oils. Don't, don't heat the oils. Put me, put the oils like later when like you're already like doing your, 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 your red whipping your butters. And I don't know, like, just like, let me know if you have any questions. I usually try to do like one butter, for example, like the cupoisseau. I need cupoisseau now because it's very dry. My skin is dry, my hair is dry. And cupoisseau is a, a butter that attracts water, attracts humidity to your skin and hair. So I did the cupoisseau and the oil that I need. So uh, this one, I'm gonna mix some other oil because I just don't like whipping a butter by itself. I'm gonna mix, uh, for example, guava, you know? So just do like one butter, one base butter and one oil that you want. So it's just a two ingredient, like super easy, super simple whipped butter. This is Chris and with Rainforest Chicken, thank you for watching.